Have you ever wanted to add a powered accessory to your motorcycle, but it needs to be switched power, so when you turn the bike on, it comes on, but you don't know where a switched power lead is, and even if you do find one, you don't want to tap into it or splice it, maybe mess it up, or even worse, run a CAN bus error? Well, I'm going to show you an easy way without any splicing, without any cutting, without any tapping, and no CAN bus errors. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Joe and this is my 2023 Triumph Tiger 900 GT. Now what we're going to be talking about today isn't so specific to this bike. I mean, it will be for this video, but if you have these features on another bike, which most bikes do, you'll be able to apply this method as well. Now one of the things a lot of people worry about when you splice into, you know, a switch power or any power for that matter is number one, you're making that susceptible to you know water damage if you don't seal it correctly and you don't uh you know crimp it correctly it may come loose it may cause a short it may cause other problems down the road i'm sure we've all worked on bikes or cars where it was just a rat's nest of wires from the previous owner that didn't do it so nice and neat so that's always an issue that could come up uh, another issue is you don't want to run into a can bus error uh, what is can bus you may have heard of it may have not it's control area network bus basically it's most new cars and motorcycles have them it's like you're central nervous system monitoring system. It's, it basically checks out your whole bike, your whole car, and you know talks to different devices, and signals get run over the wires, and it detects if there's anything unusual or anything that uh, is not supposed to be right. And if you check out this video, I'll post it here or here, wherever the heck it is. Uh, I had this issue on my, my Harley, my 2009 Dyna, when I switched to LED lights. LEDs draw much less uh, current than regular incandescent lights. So as soon as I put the LEDs on, turn the bike on, I got the error message on the, the dash, the, the service light saying, hey, there's an issue because CAN bus recognized, hey, there's something wrong. That's not, I'm not expecting the draw that I'm supposed to see on these lines. You must have a bad bulb or you know short wire or something like that. So a lot of times people just tap into a wire and then they you know have their accessory running, whether it's GPS, USB ports, whatever, and then they end up getting a CAN bus error. Well, this way you're not gonna get a CAN bus error, you're not gonna splice any wires, and you're not gonna do anything to the bike that's irreversible. So let's check out this bike, I'll show you what it has. So most modern bikes now, they come with power outlets somewhere on the bike. This bike actually has two of them. Now this is a British bike, so they use, you know, it kind of looks like a cigarette uh, lighter adapter like you would see in cars, it is 12 volt, but these are smaller, so we do need an adapter for that. The one on the Triumph Tiger 900 GT, or the 900 series in general, are, this is live all the time. So if you plug something into that, you don't even have the keys in the ignition, that line will be live. And then we've got another down here, right by the seat, we've got another 12 volt line. Now this one is switched. This one only comes on when the ignition is on, and not only when the ignition is on, when the bike is running. So even if you have it in the on position, that one does not come on until actual bike is running, then it, it turns on, which is nice because what it does is make sure you have all the juice ready to start the bike and none of it's being drained elsewhere. Once the bike is running, then it kicks on that other outlet. So what do we do with that outlet? Let's check it out. So I'm running a GPS up here. This is just a plain car GPS and I've just got it mounted to you know my, my bar here. And that's a whole nother story about mounting a car GPS on here. I know it's not waterproof. I know if it gets rained on, but whatever. I had it, it doesn't matter. If it gets rained on, it's 99 bucks. I'll go buy another one, or eventually I may get a one for an actual motorcycle, but whatever. It works, sits up there nice, but we need power for it. This runs on 12 volt. Also runs on 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, just like you have in your car. That's when I had the idea about using the power outlets on the bike itself. So let's see what we did. Under the seat here, what I've got is this power adapter. Now let's take this off. Now I got this on Amazon. I'm gonna put all links in the description below and it's got an SAE connector on the other end. This plugs under here. All right, I have it run under the seat. I got plenty of room under here. I have one of these. You could get these at Harbor Freight. They sell them in all different kits. I actually had one lying around from a, a solar kit that I had, but it's SEE to 12 volt. Plug this guy in here. Now look, I got a 12 volt adapter. And here we've got the 12 volt. This is that you would normally plug into a car, into your car power outlet, and boom. Now I've got 12 volt switched power. And then what I do, I just take this, I tuck this in here. This is where the, the tool kit goes anyway. I tuck it in nicey nice. And I ran this wire up, then over to my GPS. 
plug this in, you see bike is off, turn it on. My screen comes on, GPS comes on, boom. Ready to go. Turn it off and it'll say that it lost power and it's gonna shut off like it would normally do in a car as well. And you know what, I'm mistaken. This bike doesn't, I was thinking of something else. This bike will actually turn that power on before the bike has even started. So I don't know what I was thinking. So disregard what I said before. Here's my 12 volt cigarette lighter going into the adapter, which then plugs into here. And I just keep that in there. It doesn't get in the way. You'll see when the seat is on, you got plenty of room. You would think, oh, the passenger is gonna hit it, or whatever, but no, the, the seat, you'll see once I put it on, you got plenty of room. That is not in the way. You could probably even get a right angle one, make that even uh, clear that up a little bit more. And you just got this wire, it goes up, you got plenty of room and it goes up under the seat. It's not pinched, it's not being caught by anything. And there you go. All right, well, that's about it. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. Some people may think that's cheating. Oh, that's stupid. You know, you're just plugging it in. Um, why don't you just wire it? And you could wire it by all means, feel free. If you're good with splicing and you know where the wire is that you need to tap into and you're good at soldering and you're good with the heat shrink and you make sure that the thing is watertight and nothing's gonna come loose, then by all means, you still might run into a canvas issue, you may, may not, depending on what the draw is. Uh, this way you're not, this way it's simple. Anyone could do this. You need, don't need any mechanical skills. It's just plugging it into a cigarette lighter adapter. And even if you don't have a 12 volt adapter, like the, whatever you're trying to plug into, like let's say it's a real motorcycle GPS that's supposed to get hardwired, you could just cut the end of that adapter, cut the SAE connector off, and then just solder and heat shrink you know, that way or whatever kind of connector you're, you're gonna go to. This just happened to be easy because that GPS is a car GPS with a 12 volt sock, socket on it and I had one so I just plug it in. So pretty simple, pretty easy, works for me. Like I said, the bike isn't touched, no errors come up, uh, no splicing done, no worrying about wires if they're gonna come loose or if I didn't do it right and I could just unplug it when I want to sell the bike and uh, no one was is none the wiser. So that's it guys. Hey, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Catch you later.